Hey there, I'm Rebecca Shinsky, the director of content for Book Riot, and I'm here this week with five books to watch for in March. First up is Burn Baby Burn by Meg Medina. This comes out on March 8th. Take a look at this cover. The disco references might tip you off that it's set in the 70s, and indeed this takes place in 1977 in New York City. It's the summer of Sam, but they don't really know that yet. The police have just identified a serial killer who is shooting young girls on the street. Nora Lopez is 17 years old. She's entering her final year of high school, trying to decide what to do with her life. She's also really struggling at home because her brother is becoming increasingly vicious and her mother is having a very hard time paying the bills and taking care of the family and they might be facing eviction. Just to complicate things, Nora meets a really cute boy at her part-time job and is now juggling the stresses of being a teenager, having a family, dealing with this cute boy, liking disco music, and also having to worry about the serial killer who's on the loose. This is awesome young adult fiction that's grounded in historical events but is so applicable to contemporary life. It's really hard to do better than Meg Medina in writing for young people. You don't want to miss this on March 8th. Next up and also out on March 8th is Smarter, Faster, Better by Charles Duhigg. You probably recognize his name because he wrote The Power of Habit, which was all over the place and for very good reason a couple of years ago. This book is about the science of productivity, and he starts by pointing out how often we conflate productivity with speed and efficiency. To point out, being productive is not about doing things quickly, it's about doing things well and more. So it looks at the science of how we manage teams, how we set goals and make them you know, broken down into achievable pieces. It's also about decision making, and though it's geared towards working life and decisions that you make in the workplace, with Duhigg's work there are always take home points that you can apply in your home and personal lives as well. This book is filled with case studies, it's very interesting, but it's not just here's what other people have done, there are tips that you can take into your work life and your personal life to be more productive productive all the way around. Next up, also out on March 8th, is What Is Not Yours Is Not Yours by Helen Oyagemi. We're on a good cover kick here for March. Look at that, so pretty. This is a collection of short stories that are all about keys, both literal and metaphorical. There's the key to a lock, the key to a heart, the key to a secret, meditations on what it means for something to be locked or unlocked, what a key even is. And because Helen Oyagemi is the genius that she is, these stories can feel otherworldly and also so present and real at the same time. This is a bit of a departure from Oyagemi's more recent fiction that has been reimaginings of fairy tales. These are wholly original stories and man, her brain, it's such a great place. Moving right along to March 22nd, there is The Nest by Cynthia Dupree Sweeney. This is a debut novel, one of my favorites of the year. It's about a sort of upper crusty family in New York City and the adult siblings in the family. Their whole lives they've been counting on getting this nest egg money that their parents made when they were younger and told them would be set aside for them. And each sibling has had their own financial difficulties but has always sort of known that the nest egg was coming and so they didn't need to worry too much. But then one of the siblings makes a huge life decision that's a bad life decision and it costs everyone a lot of money and puts the nest in danger. And this is about the tension between those siblings as they are dealing with the repercussions of that decision and also trying to figure out where to go next. I love ensemble novels like this that take a whole family or a whole group of friends. We call them the gang gets back together at Book Riot and this is just a wonderful example. If you like the family drama, high stakes, multiple uh, cast of character and different narrators in a novel as well. Definitely pick up The Nest on March 22nd. Okay, and last but definitely not least is Girls and Sex by Peggy Orenstein. This comes out on March 29th. Orenstein is a columnist and a writer. She had a book out a few years ago called Cinderella Ate My Daughter that's about the packaging of girlness and femininity and how we sell pink things and the notion of princesses to young girls and what that really means for feminism, for being a girl in American society. This is a look at the new landscape of sex for high school and college aged women and it's geared towards uh, parents and adults talking to those girls and young women and understanding how their lives and their sexual 
lives in particular are different because of how the world is different now, specifically with respect to what technology has done for dating and sex and how casual sex has risen on campuses. Orenstein interviewed more than 70 young women. She interviewed psychologists, experts, you know, college administrators, tons of people for this book, and she brings together all of their perspectives here. All right, those are my top five for March, but this is a huge month for new books, so I know I've missed a ton of them. Please let me know what you think about these and the books that you're most looking forward to for March in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to Book Riot to stay up to date with all of our bookish goodness. I'll see you next time.